हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रतीक एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फोरम नो मैटर हाउ केयरफुल यू डिजाइन योर हाउस और एनी अदर काइंड ऑफ बिल्डिंग वाटर लीकेज एंड डैम्पनेस इज द काइंड ऑफ ग्लिच व्हिच कैन बी सीन एनी टाइम एंड एनी वे इन साइड स्ट्रक्चर डैम्पनेस इज द टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल सिकनेस विच इफ नॉट क्योर्ड इट कीप्स ऑन इंक्रीजिंग एंड ब्लो आउट एवरीवे सो इफ योर सीलिंग हैज स्टार्टेड टू शो डैम्पनेस और इज ड्रिपिंग वाटर देर कैन बी मल्टीपल रीजन फॉर दिस Like maybe any pipe has broken in your walls or slab water might be percolating from the tile gaps above but one of the most commonly observed problem is that water is entering your premises through the direct rainfall on the terrace and percolating in through the micro cracks in the slab parapet walls and tile gaps now to stop this kind of water percolation in our structure we need to make terrace waterproofing treatment Today in this video we are going to talk specifically about terrace waterproofing cost estimation then how can we calculate waterproofing surface area and types of terrace waterproofing along with their per square feet cost we will learn how to calculate terrace waterproofing cost estimation with an example like suppose this is your terrace area this is the plan of your terrace so basically this is the top view of your structure here on this terrace at first we'll learn how can we calculate the waterproofing surface area which means we'll calculate at first in how much area our waterproofing is needed in order to calculate the cost of waterproofing so this waterproofing area is calculated in two parts one is the surface area of the terrace that is the hatched area inner portion of the terrace shown over here this is the surface area we'll calculate the area of this at first and then we'll calculate area of the exposed surface of this parapet wall but in order to calculate this hatched area we'll have to divide uh, our terrace according to the shape such that we can easily calculate the area so here for this particular terrace i have divided into two parts a and b so that there are two rectangles formed and we can easily calculate length into width of both and uh, make a total so then our next task will be to calculate length and width of both this rectangle so length of this a i measured is 50 feet that is the inner length and the inner width of this uh, portion a will be 18 feet and uh, this length of this b is uh, 13 feet and width is 15 feet now we'll calculate the area of both of this area of portion a will be 50 feet into 18 feet that is 900 square feet and area of portion b that is 13 into 15 feet that is 195 square feet then our total surface area that is area of portion a plus b that is 900 plus 195 that will be 1095 square feet So here we have calculated the total surface area of the hatched portion that is the surface area of this terrace excluding the exposed surface of the parapet and in order to calculate this area of the parapet wall at first we'll calculate the perimeter of the entire terrace that is the running feet of this parapet wall so for that we'll have to measure the outer dimensions of this terrace as shown over here I measured to calculate the total perimeter that is 52 feet plus 20 feet plus 17 plus 16 15 16 20 and again 20 feet. So total of all this becomes 176 feet. This is the running feet. But in order to calculate area in square feet, there should be two dimension. One dimension is 176 square feet, and what will be the other dimension that is to be calculated? For instance, if the height of parapet wall is three feet, so three feet from inside. Plus three feet from outside, that will be six feet, and the surface area of this parapet wall, as seen here from the top, that is one feet. So six plus six plus one, that will be seven feet, based on the height. So it will be one seventy six into seven, that is one two three two square feet. This will be our exposed surface area of the parapet wall. Now we'll make a total of both this surface area of terrace plus area of the parapet wall. That will be total waterproofing area, that is two three two seven square feet. This is our total area on which we'll be making waterproofing. That is 2,327 square feet. Now, once we complete this area measurement portion, our next task will be to select the type of waterproofing. What kind of terrace waterproofing uh, we are willing to do? So, as shown in this table, there are six different types of terrace waterproofing. We'll discuss each and every one by one. On the first column, I've shown type of terrace waterproofing. On the second column, it's per square feet cost, and on the third column. a total cost based on the total surface area so first kind of waterproofing is app waterproofing membrane here membrane in the sense a thin film is formed in form of a, like lamination on the entire terrace which will not allow water to percolate in it will cost you around 65 rupees per square feet 
and uh, based on our total surface area that is 2327 we can multiply directly with the 65 65 rupees per square feet into 2327 square feet so our grand total which we need to pay to the contractor is 1,51,255 rupees if we are going with this app waterproofing membrane see i'm talking about the type of terrace waterproofing and not the brand there are many brands of waterproofing like dr fix it Seca, and number of brands available in market then next is liquid waterproofing membrane this will cost you around 55 rupees per square feet so 55 into our surface area that is 2327 it will be 1,27,985 rupees then bituminous coating waterproofing the type of bitumen we are using in the road construction that is 25 rupees per square feet see this is a bit economical but it will take more time to waterproof the terrace 25 into 2327 that is 58,175 rupees to waterproof this entire 2327 square feet surface area the next is polyurethane liquid membrane 45 rupees per square feet 45 into 2327 1,4715 rupees the next is brick bed coba waterproofing the wastage of the bricks found on the side can be put to level the entire terrace and over this cement mortar and this chemical is poured in order to make the waterproof surface it will be 85 rupees per square feet that is 85 into 2327 1,97,795 rupees this is a bit expensive but for sure 100% it will work and it can give you lifetime guarantee and last is polymer modified cementitious terrace waterproofing that is 35 rupees per square feet 35 into 2327 81,445 rupees so these are the types of terrace waterproofing its per square feet cost and total cost i've shown over here of this particular terrace waterproofing but when you select any contractor make sure you ask for the warranty and how to claim the warranty if in future there is any dampness seen or water leakages are found in your structure then you should know how to claim the warranty so friends this is all for today if you like this video just click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel civil engineering forum this is all for today thank you for watching